Premiere Pro has dramatically updated how you create captions for your videos. If you want to practice along, I've added this caption practice file to this video lecture so you can download it and practice with it or just pull any clip. I had fun making this one. So if you want to create a caption track, what you'll first want to do is go up to window and then text. And from here, you can create a new caption track. For format, choose subtitle unless you are in another country and you know you need to create another type. And we don't have any styles right now, but you can actually create caption styles that you can apply to your captions. Click OK. Now the manual way to do this would be to play through your video and create a new caption segment for each sentence or however long. So if you click plus, we now have this subtitle track. And if we play through, the sea otter is one of my favorite animals. So we know that this needs to be, the sea otter is one of my favorite animals. And it's super easy to use. You can just extend this clip or this, uh, yeah, I would call it a clip, just like any sort of video clip, audio clip, title effect, and extend it to the length of time. And say we want to extend it to this part and include, if not my favorite animal. All right. So say you have that on one line. Or if you want to split it, you can actually split the segment right here and then double click and adjust what is on each line. So pretty self-explanatory. If you want to now merge them, you can also merge them as, back as well. So if you have a transcript or an SRT file that you've had someone else create with captions, you can also easily import that. So let's go ahead and delete this subtitle track. Delete track. So now you would choose import captions from file if you had a, a captions file. The other really cool thing though is it has this transcribe sequence thing that allows us to automatically create a transcription. So I'm going to click this and then I'll talk a little bit about why this is awesome while it does it. So it analyzes the audio. You can choose which track or multiple tracks. If you have multiple audio, choose your language. You can set an in and out point and it will only transcribe that bit. But Nonetheless, click transcribe. It's going to automatically go through and try to transcribe it, which is awesome because now we don't have to pay anyone to do this. It's all right here in Premiere Pro. You don't have to like download captions files and import them. It can automatically create it and then you just have to go in and edit it. So now that it's done, you can see that it does an incredible job. You can go in here and change anything that you want. If it didn't have the right spelling, if it didn't have the right uh, punctuation, capitalization, and then you just click create captions. Again, you choose your format style and then click okay. And now it is automatically timed to our audio. Isn't that incredible? And it included the comma that I didn't include when I was doing it. It's smarter than me. <laughs> That's incredible. So how do we actually adjust the style or what these captions look like? So if you select these and you go up to window and first you should probably just go up to open your essential graphics panel and then select your captions, click edit. And now we can adjust anything. The size, move it left or right. You can put it in different zones. If for some reason, if you have like titles or graphics that it's covering, you can choose specific ones and put it in the top zone. Um, you can adjust, change the font, everything you can do when you're editing your text. So to say you really like the style that you've created, you think you're going to use this for future videos, you'll notice that if I have multiple clips selected, you can't create a style. So just select one and choose create style. And now we're gonna call this caption style one or whatever you wanna call it, maybe a little bit more descriptive so you know what you're doing. 
And that's pretty awesome because now if we do a new video and we create a new captions track, we can just choose that style from the get go. Now I've gone out and I have gone back to my basic editing window you will see this new captions button that will open up the text window and the essential graphics window. So that's a quick way to get to your captions. You can export your captions by clicking this button, export to SRT or even to just a text file. And this is what you would upload or use on YouTube or any other website that allows you to actually use an SRT file so that you can turn on or off your captions. If you want to burn these in to your, your file when you are exporting, you just wanna make sure that you go to the captions panel or tab and choose burn captions into the video and that will actually add those captions to your exported file. So a lot of great updates. I'm super excited about the new automatic audio to text transcript and then the text to the captions. Another thing to note too is if you are working on a project where you used a script or if you have something transcribed but you don't have the captions file, you can import that transcript here. We've already transcribed this audio but if you're creating it from scratch, you can import that transcript file and it will automatically create the captions for you and time it out for you. So again, decreasing steps that you might have to do on your own. So really cool updates. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and we'll see you in another one.